Okay, what we're going to talk about now is piston thrust and piston to rod orientation. Now, this engine here we're doing is a uh, 318 out of a uh, Lyman. It's a glass Lyman, 1974 vintage, and it is an opposite rotation engine. And uh, it's very common sometimes to get piston orientation uh, mixed up, and this engine was, was mixed up. The engine was rebuilt somewhere down the road. But, you know, we always talk about the piston notches or the front, okay? See that notch right there? Now, obviously, that's to the rear of the engine. Normally speaking, that goes to the front of the engine, okay? Now, we're gonna explain this, uh, show you how this works and why it's done this way. So, if the engine rotated clockwise, okay, like it does in a car, you know, the piston notches to the front. If the engine rotated clockwise, the piston thrust, okay, so the piston thrust is the most wear and the most pressure against the cylinder, okay? And that is that side of the cylinder wall right there towards the intake, okay? So engine's rotating clockwise. This side is the thrust side on the left bank. The exhaust manifold side is the thrust side, okay, this side on that bank, okay? Well, it's the exact opposite on a right-hand or opposite rotation engine. This engine goes this way, rotates counterclockwise, okay? So the thrust side is now here on the left bank and it is now here on the right bank, okay? So how do I know that? And how do I know which way to put the pistons? Well, here are three pistons that are going into this engine. Now, this is just a cleanup job because it was leaking rear, it was leaking a rear main seal uh, it was rope, of course. Um, actually, it had rubber in it, which is wrong. Uh, opposite rotations are supposed to have rope. But anyway, um, I want to take some of the confusion out of this. So first of all, there's there's usually, on most pistons, a front notch. All right, see that notch right there? That's the front. All right. Well, front on a normal rotation engine. The pin is offset. Okay. If I look close, that's the notch. See how the distance from here to there is shorter and the distance from here to here is longer, okay? This is normally, the shorter side goes to the thrust side of the cylinder wall, all right? So if this piston is right here, all right, and it's going up and down like this, the thrust side is gonna be towards the intake, all right? But since the engine is rotating the other direction, okay, the thrust side is here. So the piston needs to go like this, notch to the rear, short side, okay, which is right here, to the thrust side. That, that's, that's an always, okay, if your piston has a thrust. The, the pin is offset, okay. The reason they do that is they try to get the connecting rod not completely straight up and down at TDC, all right, Rob's horsepower, that kind of thing. Again, we're not Rick Hendrick, we're not Don Garlitz, this, we're just trying to catch six fish with this, okay, but that's just the way it works. If you get this mixed up, some engines can knock, uh, gray marines have done it old 188s and stuff like that pistons you get that thrust you get the pin offset it'll knock you'll think the engine is junk um, the other thing is the rod orientation okay now these rods have squirters no pun intended okay see right there all right it's hard to see i'll have a picture later see that little notch in between the cap this has a squirter now the squirters always go in to the motor, okay? Squirters face the cam um, or inside of the motor. They lube the cam. I'll take this uh, off here and show real quick. See that groove on the right side where my pinky finger is, see that groove? That's actually a calibrated oil leak that squirts into the motor. Now, if you look at a connecting rod, all right, on a V8 engine, generally speaking, there's a thick side and a thin side. Now, if we look really, really close, I know it's a video, you'll see that one side is thicker than the other, okay? See how the, to my left, okay, see how that's thicker? All right. I get this pulled up right. All right, there you go. The thickness from the rod to here is more than it is on this side. This side, all right, is thinner. The thick side goes out towards the crankshaft. The thin side goes to the other connecting rod. So thin to thin, 
is the easiest way to remember it, okay? So if these two pistons were on the same journal, thin to thin, okay, squirters to me towards my gut, all right, that's the inside of the motor. That's the orientation with the notches to the rear. There's a small notch right there. So this piston right here belongs on the right bank of the engine. Thin to thin, boom, boom, squirters in, thin towards it. The thick side towards the crankshaft journal. So right here would be a counterweight or the crankshaft. So that's a quick rundown of piston pin orientation, fronts and so forth. If your piston does not have a notch, it should have an F right here. See how it says F? That means that's the front. Well, in a clockwise rotation engine. In this opposite rotation engine, it goes to the rear. So this is a quick crash course on piston to rod orientation and why there's an offset and why the major and minor thrust side of the engine, why it's important and why it should be correct on an engine. Thanks for watching.